Just as the United States was the first nation to reach the moon in the 20th century, so too will be, we be the first nation to return astronauts to the moon in the 21st century. And I'm here on the President's behalf to tell the men and women of the Marshall Space Flight Center and the American people that at the direction of the President of the United States, it is the stated policy of this administration and the United States of America to return American astronauts to the moon within the next five years. And that's why today, the National Space Council will send recommendations to the President that will launch a major course correction for NASA and reignite that spark of urgency that propelled America to the vanguard of space exploration 50 years ago. As you will hear, in these recommendations, we will call on NASA not just to adopt new policies, but to embrace a new mindset. That begins with setting bold goals and staying on schedule. To reach the moon in the next five years, we must select our destinations now. NASA already knows that the Lunar South Pole holds great scientific, economic, and strategic value. But now it's time to commit to go there. And today, the National Space Council will recommend that when the first American astronauts return to the lunar surface, that they will take their first steps on the moon's south pole. <laughs> 